Hi guys, it's Paige, and I wanted to share with you two major things you can do to lose belly fat. There are a whole bunch more, but the number one, the number one exercise is resistance training. So um, if you're skeptical, or I know a lot of people um, aren't fond of strength training, and maybe women tend to like cardio more, um, but if you're over 40, weight training is the absolute best thing you can do. So let me give you a few facts. So according to one study, 80% of people over 50 have too much fat, not enough muscle. This is probably not terribly shocking to a lot of us. Um, number two, there is a cause and effect relationship between losing muscle and gaining weight. So we may lose five pounds of muscle every decade if we don't lift weights. So let me just sum it up for you because there are some numbers here that might surprise you. If you're not lifting weights, you may lose 15 pounds of muscle and gain 45 pounds of fat over a couple of decades. 45 pounds, that is a lot. Um, here's the good news, it is reversible at any age. So when you, and there are certain ways that you can lift weights that will actually target belly fat, okay? And I'm gonna show you a couple things the in a minute. The second thing I wanna to talk to you about um, is your diet. The number one thing you can do to lose belly fat with your diet is to reduce your added sugar. So just it all has to do with insulin resistance. And if you are um, any kind of diabetic, you probably understand this, but I'm gonna just dumb this way, way down because that's how I understand it. Um, so insulin resistance means that any sugar in your bloodstream cannot be absorbed by this, your cells, which is supposed, that's what's supposed to happen. So um, when you have normal insulin levels, your sugar goes right into your cells, everything's fine. When you're resistant, it keeps circulating in your blood, which means it has to go somewhere. So that's where um, insulin resistance and um, belly fat come in because it really adds to that belly fat, that extra sugar. So <clears throat> what we're talking about here is added sugar, um, which really come in a lot of processed foods. You know what they are, like white rice, white bread, you know, all of that stuff. <clears throat> but it's not talking about natural sugars. So if you look at a label these days, they used to not have the added sugar on there, but now they have to put it, the food companies have to put it on the labels. So what you wanna look at, you wanna look at total sugar, obviously, but you wanna look very closely at your added sugar. So these are, so okay, for men, you get about, you are allowed by the powers that be, that you have 150 calories a day of added sugar, which is about 37.5 grams. Women, 100 calories a day, which is about 25 grams. So just to um, show you a, a, an example. So these are fig and olive crisps from Trader Joe's, and these, this is actually pretty good. So this has um, total sugar seven, which is not bad at all. And then it has four grams of added sugar. So that's not bad at all. So if I have, um, <clears throat> what did I say, 25 grams? So that's four. So I get, you know, I can have more added sugar if I want to. I'm trying to keep away from added sugars. So the number one thing you can do is look at your labels. You know, if you're a woman, think of 25 grams. You know, you can even go in your pantry. I mean, I know if you're bored, you can go look at your labels and add up your numbers. Uh, math is always fun, but go look at your labels and, you know, start looking at the added sugars and be like, I wonder if my typical meal, how many grams of sugar am I eating a day? Um, that would be a great thing. So those are just two tips. And I'll tell you what, I have a lot more tips in my latest book, Belly Fat Busters for Seniors. Wee! So the book came out early this year and I just like, I don't know, this year just went crazy. So here's what I want to tell you about this book. First of all, it's not just for seniors. I hate the word senior. It makes you sound like you're a thousand years old. Um, but <clears throat> I cover everything that you need to do to lose belly fat including nutrition, workouts. You have a 12-week program, okay? That 12-week program includes um, weight training workouts, flexibility, core, warm-up, stretching, all of it. And it's all completely laid out for you. And, you know, I have pictures of everything. You have a cool down. You know, you have a, how to schedule your workout. You have a schedule. So all, you know, look, there I am showing you how to exercise. Um, so in the book we cover, so kind of what, I'm just gonna give you a breakdown. Um, okay, so what we're gonna focus on in this book is exercise. So you, there's a certain type of exercise you need to do, weight training, 
that will help you lose fat. And these are the workouts that I have in here. It's basically compound movements where you do, um, you know, like if you do a squat and a press, like you're working more than one muscle group at the same time. Um, and so I have, you know, every four weeks you have new workouts that you do. You have pictures, descriptions. There are three levels of each exercise. So you can start, you know, if your balance isn't great yet, or, you know, you can do the third level. So you have, anybody can do this workout. Um, nutrition. So I go over a lot of that, the sugar and um, everything else that goes with that. You know, fiber, all the things that you can be doing with your diet. Managing stress. Okay, stress is huge. Um, and sleep hygiene. And um, obviously your insulin resistance, your sugar. So I'm, I wanna just touch on exercise just a little bit more in that, um, one of the things I focus on in this book is that you don't need to go crazy with your workouts and you shouldn't like go high hardcore, like sweating high intensity all the time that increases cortisol, which is your stress hormone. And you know what cortisol increases belly fat. Cortisol is like guiding. It's like the Butler guiding you to your hotel room. This is guiding the cortisol into your belly. So those are all the things. Okay. So this is my book, belly fat busters for seniors, I'm totally pushing it. Now you can find it on Amazon. Um, you can look my name up. It's Paige Weiner, W-A-E-H-N-E-R. I will also put a link in the comment section here. And um, please buy the book, read it, do the exercises, tell me what you think, leave a fabulous review, um, and tell me what you think. All right, guys, there you go. All the answers are right here. I have all the answers. Okay, bye, guys.